I am a proponent of medicinal cannabis mar uh, legislation like SB9. I am here today because of cannabis. There is no question in my mind. I have suffered with, from massive debilitating muscle spasms for over 30 years, and I am currently unable to receive any relief from any prescription medication. I've tried them all. They're very limited in number for muscle spasms. In 2001, these spasms got so bad that I ended up having to have what's called uh, a uh, aortic bifemoral bypass. That's where these hernias came from. At that time, I was given 18 months to live. I used a 90-day trial of cannabis oil, and the results from that were literally astonishing. I'm a type 2 diabetic that was uncontrolled up to that point. Now, when I'm able to medicate, when I'm able to get the correct strain, I can literally shut off my insulin. It drops, to, the need for it drops to absolutely zero. My A1C dropped to 6.2 from over 14. That's incredible. This measure that you're looking at today, it's not just going to help these kids. It's not just going to help us. This is for the future. I've said it a thousand times. I'll say it again today. We've got one of the very best medical schools in the world right up the road at Lawrence. We've got one of the very best agricultural schools in the world down the road at Manhattan. By legalizing it, you're not just protecting us here today. You're protecting generations of future Kansans from going through what we've had to go through. You're opening up the avenue of research to our colleges and universities. Because until it's legalized here, they can't touch it. It's important that you remember that we have a tendency to look at things in the worst case scenario and to pass bills and laws predicated towards that. I have to ask you, is that where we need to go with this? I don't think so. I think that there's enough scientific knowledge out there now, especially in, in the form of the CMCR, that will help you to make a good, informed decision. Thank you.